Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Matt and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 Android apps for April of 2023. I'm just charging my phone up right now because I'm using it quite a lot. But uh, I did a video on this battery pack recently, like I say recently, it was a few months ago, but I love this thing. This is the Storm 2 Slim, not sponsored, just a really, really sick battery pack. So let's just jump into the video. So this is my home screen this month. It looks pretty similar to last month. I've changed out the widget in the bottom here, which is this new Google search widget. I'm including this in the video, so stick around for that. And if you're curious about the wallpaper, it's from my store. I actually custom made this wallpaper and you can pick it up now for 50% off using the link down below. So really sick wallpaper. There's four in the pack. But the first app today is called V Music. So this is an app that is not in the Play Store. You'll need to download the APK. I will leave all the links down below but this is a free music app. So completely free, you don't even need to make an account. You just need to download the APK and install it. And it basically works off of YouTube music, but there's no ads whatsoever. And I love this interface, it's super clean. You have the sideward scrolling where you can see all the quick picks, and then you can go down through the different topics. So you have songs, playlists, artists, albums, and I love the way it's like sideways. It's super cool, super nice interface but there's quite a lot of features in the settings to change how it looks and how it works and the thumbnails and all that. But overall, just, I mean, it's free music, so why would you not get it? Out number two is called Dove KWGT, and that's actually how I got this search bar at the bottom, as well as this really beautiful widget of an eagle. So it has the date as well as the time. So this is a widget pack add-on, so you will need to actually install KWGT Pro to use this but there's some really beautiful widgets inside of here. There is some really nice calendar widgets as well as quick app shortcuts. And obviously the Google search bar widget, like I showed you, there's a couple of different variants of that, but there's a ton of different types of widgets to choose from in here. You also have some media playback ones where you can have like your album artwork for the music you're listening to. So there's a lot of good choices for widgets in here. Go check it out, link will be down below. App number three is called Signal. This is a messaging app which is fully encrypted. So end to end, it uses the open source protocol and you can also do phone calls inside this app. So, so if you wanna send some messages without being worried that they might get leaked or that people might see them that you don't want to, then Signal is a great option to check out. You can change the color of those chat bubbles so you can kind of make it blue so it looks a little bit like iMessage and you also have this note to self feature. So it's kind of like a little reminder feature. You can just go in and type all the things you have to do or some things you want to be reminded about. And then you can just jump in there and see all the things. So pretty handy, just a messaging app, but fully encrypted. App number four is called Noterly. So this is a really beautiful app. I love the overall design. It's very clean, but it's a reminders app as well as a note taking app. So you can create your notes. You can set whether they're like urgent or whether they're not you can repeat them, you can put in the date and schedule like a reminder and it will actually pop up. I've actually got some tasks in my notification panel. So when I swipe down, you can see I've got, huh, wake up and get some stuff done, film my Logitech video, do my top app video. And the great thing is the ones that don't have specific dates, they just stay in your notification panel. So you can always be reminded. When you create a new note, you can go ahead and set a title. You can add a little paragraph of text to the body to be more specific. Then you can add a color. So if you wanna group things by like theme, like say I wanna be reminded about YouTube things, I can set the color to be red because YouTube is red. So yeah, basically just a really nice note app and reminders app in one, go check it out. App number five is called Simple Login. So you know when you sign up to those websites and you're kind of a bit nervous whether you'll just get bombarded with emails, you don't have to worry about that anymore. So this app right here kind of works like Apple's Hide My Email. It creates various different email addresses that link to your main email address. So all you need to do is go in here, create a fake email address, sign up to the website with that fake email, and all the emails will be redirected to your actual inbox. You could have a specific email address where you sign up for like websites. And if you wanna just stop all the emails coming in, you can just jump in the app, press that toggle switch, and all the emails will just stop being forwarded to your main email address. App number six is Wall Factory. This is a paid app, but I will be giving away some promo codes on my Instagram page, so go check it out. I'll post some on my story and I'll leave the Instagram username on the screen. But inside this app, I really like these wallpapers. They're a little bit different. They're kind of like 3D, but really high quality renders. So there's this one here of like a dog in a spacesuit. Looks really cool. Now you don't just have those 3D models. You also have different types of wallpapers. So you have these vibrant, AMOLED wallpapers, which are a little bit more flat. 
I really dig this one of the mountain range. It looks really beautiful. And then you also have one of the city skyline. There is so much variety, but I mean, there is a common trend that they all tend to be very punchy and their colors are very vibrant. So if you like that, go check out this app. Really cool wallpapers. App number seven is called Routine Flow. And this is a way of building up a routine inside an app, which you can follow. It can be kind of hard to maintain a routine, especially if you just forget things, if it slips your mind. So by putting it in this app, you can actually schedule all the things that need to be done throughout the day. So right here, I've set a morning routine as well as an evening routine. In the morning one, you can see it says brush my teeth, take a shower, make my bed, write down my goals, and then make breakfast, drink some water. These are all things that just help me. Obviously, I'm not gonna forget to eat breakfast, but sometimes I actually do forget to drink water in the morning. So it can be handy just to put it in here. So whenever I look at it or whenever it pops up, I'll be like, you know what? Yeah, I need to drink some water today. Inside the app, you can also set timers. So for a specific task, you can set a time frame, and it will actually run a timer in the app to tell you when it's up. And you can also view your insights as well, so you can kind of see how well you stuck to your routine and whether you kind of didn't do something a certain day. So pretty cool app if you wanna build a routine. App number eight is called Micro Gestures, and this is an app which allows you to do this. So you can go ahead and use gestures to trigger certain actions on your phone. So I've got it set up so when I push forwards, it brings down a notification panel, and then I've got it so when I do like a little chop motion, it opens up my app switcher right here, then I also have a little shimmy. So uh, <laughs> the shimmy is the little twist, which I do to go back on my phone. So all you need to do is do a little twist motion and you don't actually have to swipe in from the edges, which can cause accidental triggers and presses. Um, but it's just kind of cool to show off to your friends that you can use gestures to control your phone. Inside the app, you can customize the action that's triggered by each one of these movements. You can also change the sensitivity and the direction of movement. So there's a lot more functionality in here and customization options. Go check it out, link will be down below. App number nine is Oxygen OS 12 icons. So these are the ones I'm rocking on my home screen. I've actually been using them for a while and a lot of people question me on it, but yeah, they're just OnePlus icons. I just really dig the way Remember that OnePlus 7 with the full screen with no hole punch? That device was just beautiful. And I love the minimalist design of the icons. So yeah, that's the icon pack I have. They're pretty similar to stock Android, but there's just a little bit of a twist on some of them, like the camera icon and the phone icon and the settings. So yeah, go check it out. Link will be down below to that. And the last app is a relatively new app by Spotify. It allows you to go ahead and record podcasts as well as edit them, add music, sound effects, and track your metrics as well as publish the podcast. So basically an all-in-one tool which can help you make your podcast. So in here, just press on the plus button in the middle here. That's how you start a new recording. You can record it using this button in the middle. On the side here, you can connect your Spotify account and you can use all the music on Spotify completely free on your podcast without copyright issues, which is cool. And then you also have a library of all the past recordings. You also have various sound effects for the intro and outro of your podcast, as well as like, you know, mid podcast. If you want some sort of sound effect to go off, then you can add it inside of here. But something cool is you can completely publish the podcast through this app and even connect up your Apple podcast as well as Google podcast. So you can literally publish it on all the different podcast providers. And there's also an analytics section, which allows you to monitor all the stats of who actually is listening to your podcast. So yeah, that is my top 10 Android apps for April. I personally feel like this is one of the best top apps in a while. They are pretty cool apps, not gonna lie, especially V Music. That is a super cool app if you want some free music. So yeah, I would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe, smash the bell icon, smash the like button, and comment down below any of your thoughts or app recommendations, and I will personally go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, but I'm really close to 50,000 subscribers. I think I'm about 300 off. So yeah, if you guys could help me reach that goal, I would much appreciate it. But I will see you guys later. Peace.